Hi there. Today we're going to practice relating addition to subtraction. If I have these counters here and I add on a few more counters, how many do I have in total? You're right, I've got eight counters. Now, what fact did I make there? That's right, I had five and I put three together, what symbol would I need? That's right, I'd need the addition symbol. We found that at equals eight. Now what happens if I change this and I move the blue counters here and I put the red counters over here? What fact do I now have? That's right, I now have three plus five and I still equal eight. Now what would occur if I took these five tokens or counters away? What would happen? What would our equation be? Well we notice we'd have three left, correct? I removed five of them. How many did I have to begin with? That's right, I had eight to begin with, and I removed five, and I have three left over. Well, what would happen if I removed just these three here? Well, how many did I begin with? You're right, I started with eight, and I removed three, and I got an answer of five. These were all related facts. Notice that they all have the same numbers in them. When we're adding or subtracting, we have to have numbers that will balance each other out. They all have to have the same amount on each side. So if we have five plus three, that equals eight. So this number here, five and three is eight. Eight, take away five, this number would be three. So three has to equal three. Eight minus three is the same as five, so their answer must be five. Knowing these facts will help you with tougher subtraction problems. This is what's called a fact family. They are all related. Just like you're related to your mom and dad, these all are related as well. They all have to be together at all times. Let's take a look at another subtraction fact and see how our fact family can help us using our addition to help us subtract. So here I have the equation six take away four and I'm trying to find the answer. If I said four plus something will equal that number of six. Can we add on to figure that out? If we had four counters, one, two, three, four, and I was trying to get up to six, let's count on to see if we can figure it out. Five, six. How many did I have to go up to do that? I had to go up two more. So if four plus two equals six, then the missing number, six minus four, must be two. And if we could check that to make sure, we have six here, we take away one, two, three, four, and we have a total of two. So knowing that four plus two equals six will help us when subtracting six take away four. If I had the numbers five plus seven, and I told you that they equal 12, could you tell me what seven plus five equals? If you said 12, you are totally and completely correct. Let's take a look and see if we can explain this. If we had five counters here, one, two, three, four, five, and we added in seven more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if we put all of those together, we get the number 12. If we look 
at this number here, we have 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we add 5 in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is also going to equal 12. All we did was move the counters around. We just moved the numbers around. It's the same amount. It's just that the numbers have changed their places, 5 and 7 versus 7 and 5. Finally, if 9 plus 10 equals 19, what would 19 minus 9 equal? If you did your subtraction correctly, you'll figure it out that 19 minus 9 equals 10. We've looked at our fact family. All three numbers must be in there. Another way to look at it, if we know that 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equals 19 when we combine them. If we have our 19, our total, and we take away 9 of them, just all gone there, what's left over? If we look here, what's left over is that, that 10. They're all related. If one goes away, the other has to be left over. If we have 9 plus 10 equals 19, then 19 minus 9, it's the digit that's left over. If we've taken and removed one, if we've removed the 9, that 10 has to be there. It's the last one. It's left over. Relating addition and subtraction will help you when you're solving subtraction problems. Knowing these facts and knowing how to turn them around will help you to solve your subtraction facts quicker. Use your fact families to help you to subtract at a faster rate. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about math.